Hey guys, so back in 2014, we put out a video on how to read your, son your hummingbird sonar. And I'll be honest with you, the audio was absolute garbage. So I wanted to revisit that topic with some recent sonar logs that I got. So what you're seeing up here is the side imaging, the down imaging, and for this lesson, we're going to look at the actual 2D sonar. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm on the trolling motor. I am looking for bass uh, and, and essentially trying to target them off of shelves and in main basins being as the water temperature was like 38 degrees. So what you'll see here, very weak arcs. These two weak arcs are going to be fish that are just outside of my 83 kilohertz range. So I can see them, but they're not strong. They're on the very outside of the cone. You know, so essentially I can see them, but they're not right under the boat. Um, these right here are bass that are leaned up against the bottom of the shelf you know, actually on the uh, the grass itself in this instance it's a very light grass and these bass I could visually I could see them uh, actually laying down in that grass so as we move you notice the bottom is very grassy essentially right um, you'll see right here it's actually my lure coming back up off the bottom I'm running a drop shot on this now I'm running a drop shot because if you see these arcs right here, they're about, oh, a foot or so off the bottom. Now, and what that does is the drop shot puts it right here, right in the nose. You know, I can hit them right in the nose with that drop shot. As we move forward, you'll see that I start seeing larger fish suspended up. Now, again, I can see these fish. We're talking 20-ish foot of visibility. So I, I can see these fish, so I know exactly what I'm talking about here. Um, so we have a very large bass about three feet off the bottom in eight feet of water. So throwing a small square bill would have been absolutely key to probably catch this fish or a swim bait. That being said, you'll also see there's fish with that school. So you'll see this main arch right here, followed by the secondary arch right here. There's two fish grouped up in this school. There's other secondary ones right here as well. And these fish were actually chasing bluegill. I could watch them actually, you know, I could, I could actually watch these fish chase gills in this shallow water. So as we move on, you'll see fish stacked up like this. You know, so when you see fish like this, these are either crappie or bluegill. More than likely, they're crappie. Bluegill tend to be a little more spread out and in oval shape. But there was a bass underneath here, and we ended up catching this fish. Uh, on a drop shot. All right, so we're gonna play this in essentially real time where we would have, would have been moving about half mile an hour or so on the trolling motor, just kind of you know, going along. So here we have small clumps of grass with fish in them. Again, you'll see small arches. Now the key here is you'll only see these arches when the fish are entering and leaving the beam. Now it's arching because it's getting a weak signal, strong signal, weak, weak signal. Um, you know, so that essentially means that the fish is moving through your beam itself. If you get a strong red return in the middle, that fish is under your beam directly, so you have a very strong return. As it's understood, you are actually seeing the air bladder in the fish, not necessarily a um, hard object down there. That being said, there's a lot of debate on that. Uh, I don't know quite where I lean, but you know, to each their own, and they, everybody has their own opinion on that. So at this point, I'm actually dragging a jig in deep water about 14 feet right here. Um, what I was doing was I was dragging that three-quarter ounce jig along the bottom, and actually I ran over a fish right here. So, you know, that kind of clicked in my head and said, okay, I need to be dragging a jig. So I cast it on out there. As I'm running, I see another fish on the bottom. Okay, th this is what it's going to be. I couldn't see this at the time, but as I'm dragging that jig, you'll see here, I actually had it under the boat, and I bounced it because I wanted to just make sure I could have good contact with that jig on my fish finder, and as I did that, you'll see where it goes. It comes up, goes back down, and where it gets real dark right here is where this fish hit, and that fish comes up, landed him, and I'll put a picture in the, uh, I'll put a picture in the video for you. So boom, that happened. So at this point, I'm using my sonar exclusively to find fish. 
I'm not casting. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm, I'm just using my fish finder to find fish. And that's something a lot of guys are missing in their game. And I feel like that's why I want to help you guys essentially learn your fish finder. So we're going to do a few of these videos. I'm going to talk to you guys about, you know, kind of how I find my fish with my fish finder and uh, how I can make you guys a better angler. If you guys like what we're doing here, please like the video, please subscribe to it, and share it. Um, shares are a big deal to us. But as always, guys, have a good one, and good luck on the water.